The Havware is wrist-mounted to provide a truly personal monitoring experience. It calculates and displays in real time Hav's risks exposure points to inform the wearer of their exposure to vibration and thresholds reached. Sounds and vibration alerts also inform the wearer of incremental increases in exposure. To track which tools are exposing operators to vibration, simply press the Havware button and hold it next to a Havware tool tag. The Havware will then log which tool is being used and detect when the tool is being used and for how long. It's that simple. But what is truly unique about the Havware is that a company can decide to either eliminate Hav's risk exposure points using predefined tool vibration magnitudes or from the vibration sensed on the wearer's wrist during real-time tool use. Using the sensed wrist vibration to calculate Hav's wrist exposure points can provide a more representative assessment of risk from tool use in the field. This personalized exposure assessment helps employers reduce exposure risk based on truly representative vibration exposure data. The Havware has been designed to reduce the guesswork when managing vibration exposure because the likelihood of applying effective controls to reduce HAV exposure risk is next to impossible without accurate knowledge of operator daily exposure due to the unpredictability of most work processes across sectors from landscaping to engineering. This is especially concerning as 10% of workers will still contract HAVs related symptoms in 12 years if they are exposed to around 100 HSC points, which some consider a safe level. And successful haves related employee claims have increased by 50% over the last decade. It is also widely accepted that manual assessments of exposure in the workplace following regulations will have a high level of uncertainty. Why? Firstly, understanding tool use on projects is either by supervisors estimating tool use and or by timing actual operator trigger time. Both activities are estimations of overall projects, which will correlate only roughly with ongoing activities. Secondly, to assess exposure using the HSE point system requires calculations using the tool's vibration magnitude. In practical terms, this is either a recommended manufacturer's measurement or a measurement taken of a typical tool use. But a tool's vibration varies greatly between types of use and even between operators. So using an average vibration magnitude will have a major level of uncertainty. Why guess when our system automates the tracking of tool use across all workers with trigger accuracy and determines real-time sense vibration? All these inaccuracies can create poor quality assessments and any ongoing exposure data collation which risk reduction activities are reliant upon to protect workers' welfare. Later measuring the effectiveness of activities by further assessments will also be compromised by comparing both sets of poor data. So how does the Havware and the React Tech Analytics platform better protect worker welfare and employers? Each operator uses a personalized RFID card containing their exposure action level thresholds to sign out a Havware from a docking station at the start of their shift. The Havware device is placed into a wrist strap and fitted snugly onto the wrist. The operator presses the button and holds their Havware next to a tool tag of each tool used to track tool use. It calculates and displays in real time exposure points to inform the wearer of their exposure to vibration. It also displays the initials of the wearer and tool currently being used. I'll explain how soon. Exposure thresholds are indicated with the black circle appearing in each colored bar with the EAV part split into three equal parts to alert the wearer of incremental increases in exposure. Sound and vibration alerts also inform the wearer of incremental increases in exposure and action thresholds exceeded. First alert is for two seconds when the wearer's personal EAV threshold is breached. The second and third alert is triggered when the wearer's personal EAV threshold increases with the fourth when ELV is reached. At the end of a shift, the operator returns the Havware to a docking station to recharge and transmit data. Securely hosted by React Tech, companies can centrally manage employee access to specific reports. 
view reports online or by email, and create manager alerts if operators exceed exposure thresholds. The reports include individual worker exposure and related tool use to pinpoint exposure hotspots. Also, over the longer term, the React Tech Analytics platform helps manage the exposure of the whole workforce and so impact positively on health management. The reports help with HSC compliance by assessing exposure risks, alternative work methods, equipment selection, maintenance and purchasing policy for replacing old plant, work schedules and, importantly, to measure the effectiveness of controls to aid design changes. You can also see the performance of tools by reports, measuring vibration trends of tools as well as to check tool usage and redundancy for maintenance. The system supports behavioural change towards have risks and involves all duty holders. Any vibration exposure is not safe and continuous digital monitoring will help expedite risk reduction activities. Also, more conclusive exposure data of each employee offers a more robust defense against employee litigation and to secure the lowest insurance premium. Have's monitoring just got personal with the Haveware. Reduce the guesswork to reduce your company and employee Have's risks.